On my way back to base, I ran into Gavin the Shady Dealer, who, being level 34, just got smoked pretty badly. Uh, we don't have any room for any silver coins, which may or may not be a good or a bad thing. I guess we'll drop, um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I screwed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. I meant to go in and do that. Which would free up our things. My bad. Well, I just switched up on everything. Okay. Ooh. Are we actually taking damage? We are taking damage. Yep, we are taking damage, but we're still regenerating it too, so it's kind of like, eh. Six of one, half a dozen of another. We're not all that far from base. The last one we were out and about, kind of wandering around to the north, took a cave and ended up back in the south, which was kind of nice to see that there are different ways to get around. Uh, that's probably going to kill them both, just straight up, isn't it? Nope. Yeah, let's go ahead and feed on you. I just need to switch blood times, because that was just not good. Alright, not interested in that, we'll just keep on moving. Yeah, I totally, totally didn't mean to switch blood types. Oh well, we can, we can always go easily get another good quality worker blood time by just wandering around for a while to the north to eventually find it, so not a big deal. For the time being, we're heading back to base where I wanted to do a little research. We do have a book to use that's going to give us a slightly uh, upgraded weapon, but it's not necessarily going to be upgraded compared to what we already have. In terms of it's not going to be any better, it'll just be... I don't know, I mean, it'll just... it'll be whatever it'll be, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good blood type. What do we got here? Reduce damage taken and 25% increased damage when striking enemies at full health. Oh, there's Gorswine, my least favorite of all of the battles so far. Well, actually, I don't know, Gorswine or the other guy. The one we did the other day. Uh, other, other day? Other, 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 other day? I don't know, Clive or something like that. He was kind of obnoxious. Ah, my timing was off on that. I should have placed it closer. My my placement was bad. How about that? That's what it was, really. Yeah, let's go and get rid of all these guys, and we'll just take their bones. And we'll use that just to move a little quicker. It's kind of interesting, this game, the way it works. Since it's meant to be played on a server, and it's meant to be played with multiple players, you have all of these characters in the game, Gore, Swine, etc. You know, the Alpha Wolf, all these things, where they all respawn in the game. So, you end up running around, and you run into them. Fairly, fairly often, I ran into Lydia the Chaos Archer on the way back a while ago. I mean, this same run. Like, I'm... I still haven't made it back to base from uh, the other day when we played. It just... it takes a while. That's the thing about this game, is it takes a while. And I bet... If you're playing multiplayer, it probably goes pretty quickly, but... If you're not... Things go... A little slower. How you doing, Rushmore? Alright, let's obsessively... Compulsively... Subjectively... Count all of our things away. There we go. And, I don't know, just for the giggles, I'm going to throw in a little more there. This guy's good enough for a while, so it, it doesn't need anything. At least nothing that we can give it. So, I forget with, if there was anything we could really do with all of the things here. We don't have that recipe. That would be a handy one. So let's go over to this guy. Let's go to our research desk and... We will do, um... I forget how we do this. Do we put that in there? It's that guy. Click on that and then click research. I knew that. I knew that. Then we can discover a random one. What did we get? Uh, Omen Slim Bookcase. Distinguished Slim Bookcase. So... Really... Not... Anything over... Well, I don't know. Storage shelves. 
I mean, I am curious. <gasps> oh, look at you. You can hold 28 items, 8 planks, and 8 copper ingots. Dude, that's fantastic. I think we took all that stuff out of here, and it's over here right now. Uh, ingots and planks, right? That's what we said. All right, um, let's... Let's build one of these guys. Let's see, we can do... I like the Omen better than the Distinguished. I think. Yeah, I like the Omen. That's that's more my style. So can we... We just cannot sneak that in there. That's kind of a shame. What about uh, if we go... Nope. I right, this one. Can I... No. Put that right there, and presumably all of our stuff is still in it. Oh, man. A game that actually lets you move a container that has stuff in it. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever played a game that lets you do that, and if I have, I'm not remembering it. So, my bad. You know, let's just move this thing over here, move this thing over here, because, my bad, we are going to... Mm, I guess we'll do... We'll put these in the corner, kind of like how we had those boxes. I'm going to do it like that for right now, just because we can leave a little space there. Oh man, this is amazing. These hold so much more. This is, this is just great. Here, let's take all this crap, and I'm going to play the old uh, switcheroo game. For the time being, we're just going to move those boxes over there, and we're going to call that good. So what do we need for this merciless copper sword? Some sapphires, some whetstones, some leather. Uh, I kind of want to move this guy. Can I do it like that? That would be a little better for me if you're sitting there like that. And then I got to go figure out where I put everything in these guys. This one is basically chock full of goodies. And then we said sapphires. Your sapphires, right? I know my blues. And I already forgot what else we needed for this guy. Leather and... Oh, we never did do a copper sword? Really? Interesting. I mean, I don't really know how much it matters to be able to say that we have... Uh, a better sword for harvesting plant materials, but it seems like you constantly need them. So it might not be a bad idea overall to have some. Where'd all the leather go? Is it still in this guy? We might need to get some more. I think we do have... Oh, here, actually. I'm thinking about this. Here, let's load you up with two of those. And then... You can have all of those. And I know, there's still some materials hanging out in there. Just as there's some hanging out in here. We'll just take those for now. So if we do a copper sword, then I think what we can probably do here is put that guy in there. Gotta be careful standing there. It's really obnoxious. We really need to make this a proper castle or something one of these years. So then we can do a Merciless Copper Sword. That's a nice quick upgrade there. And like I said, it doesn't really change anything. Either way, we're at 41 if we use the sword or if we use this guy. An upgrade on the mace would be really good because then we could get some better... We could get some better materials if that were the case, but uh, we can't, so here we are. I'm just going to take those materials out of that guy and we'll call that good enough for now. And I don't know where we left things with. Here, let's uh, throw... No. Nope. Let's maybe put these back in here, and then we'll throw the planks, whetstones, that sort of stuff in there. I think we probably need to collect a bajillion stone at this point. It's really kind of obnoxious. There, we'll take all those guys. I don't know what to do with the stone dust. I, mean, I know it has uses technically, but... I still don't know what to do with it. And then I don't know where Harry is. Harry's probably in his in his coffin. Harry has died. Um, 
Sure, I'll resurrect him for 50. I didn't even realize he went out. Why did he go out? Oh, do I have to stand there the whole time while it's resurrecting? No, okay, good. I'm gonna say, because I really don't know that I care that much. We have... Do we have this guy? We never did get around to upgrading the Hunter's Crossbow to the... Merciless Hunter's Crossbow. And honestly, I'm not sure I care. I wasn't a big fan of that weapon to begin with. So you're just gonna run out and go do stuff. And you're gonna, like, melt in the sun. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. He's... He's an odd duck, and I... I don't know what to do with him, so... I, I just try not to worry about it too much. Let's go grab some planks. Maybe we'll be able to upgrade a little bit of this stuff. Probably not much, because I don't think we have many planks. I mean, really, we have... We do have quite a few planks, I guess, but we don't have many... I don't have many stones. That's the tough part. So we could do a reinforced wall right here. I'll get rid of the palisade wall. Can do that. I am kind of curious if, because the wall is higher, does it give you more protection from the sun? Like, does it actually affect the angle of the sun coming in? It seems like it should. I just don't know if that's how it actually operates. Okay, we're just going to more or less commit all those materials right there. At some point, we'll upgrade all of these things and we'll... We'll be okay, but it's just, it's, you know... It's going to be a while because... I still need to collect, like, a bajillion and one stones to turn into bricks. And even with that going quickly, it's, it's not going very quickly, so... Here, we can put all this stuff away. We're good with that now didn't really do anything for us in terms of getting new options for gear, so I want to go back to the table here. I want to look at it a little bit. So these are the choices that we get here. This is it. There's still some magic items, so we can potentially find some better stuff there. I still do think we probably need to make the ember chain. In fact, we might be able to do that right now. I was starting on that a while back, and then I got distracted and did something else. Because I guess that goes up here. If that's the case, we might as well do it. So, emerald... Oh, I don't think we have enough grave dust, because we never really collect a ton of that. That was one of those things that was proving hard to come by. Oh, there's a bunch of bricks. Well, ain't that handy. Holy crap, dude. Here, hold on. Sidebar, we need to do something else. We're going to run out of planks here in just a, a minute, but... That's okay. Uh, reinforced window wall, reinforced entrance. And then... What are, what are these made out of? Are they just stone? Eh, stone bricks and planks. Okay, do that one. Do that one. Do that one. Do our arch. Do our arch, and then do walls, and then do walls. And just like that, I believe we no longer need our mist machines in here. These can be turned off. Because we finally, if I'm not mistaken here, we finally have a roof. And then these guys should all be operating a little faster because they're in a, a room now. Which, that's handy, because we literally just went through almost all of the planks that we have, so... Load you up with even more stuff to process. Here, let's just store those guys in there. I didn't mean to put the wood in there. We'll, sort, we'll store those guys in there like that. That's fine. And then back on this... Um, okay, I'm curious of something. 130 bones in there can't dismantle while having items in its inventory. Okay. That was really what I wanted to know. Come on in, Harry. Weather's fine inside. Weather's fine. Here, let's take all of these bones out of there. And then we're just going to go ahead and dismantle that guy. And dismantle that one. 
I'm actually feeling pretty good about this now. I'm feeling much, much better about this overall. I mean, there's still some room for improvement, so don't get me wrong. We're not, like, out of the woods yet. Yeah, let's, that's fine. You just go ahead and take all of those. But I am feeling like, hey, we have made a little bit of progress here after all. We have a roof. That's amazing. I mean, back when we started the game, I didn't even know what it was going to take to get a roof. Never mind if one was even possible. So that's the one we have right now, right? We have a research desk. I just, I think there's going to be another research table and trying to figure out is there anything else that oh put flowers on this tomb to raise various undead then slay them once more for their remains okay so this we can put outside somewhere potentially That works for me. And then we put in flowers to raise something. So what do we get here? Skeleton. A ghoul. Unit that yields bones. Chance for grave dust. Um, Let's summon a ghoul just for the giggles. I think we have enough morning lilies. We should be able to do that. Yeah, let's do this so we can run very slightly faster. Snowflower seeds. Where are the morning lilies? Right there. I guess we don't really need to put all of them on there, but that's fine. We'll just take a bunch for right now. I assume when you raise them that you're going to end up with some unfriendlies. I mean, maybe not. There you go. So it's going to take five minutes to raise that guy. I mean, hey, I'm just excited to, to play with some new stuff again because... I feel like we haven't made any progress. Too busy dying. Too busy dying. Hurry up and die. Let's go ahead and give you that. Not sure how to do... That because... Oh, we didn't do workshop floor, did we? Oh, so workshop flooring was a bunch of planks, if I remember right. Yeah, we need a bunch of planks. So I guess we just got to let this guy busy itself away and then we'll be able to upgrade all of these other things. So are there any other things that we can do in here? Yeah, see, this is something that I want to do at the other place is put down a a thing here so we can extend outward mirrors ooh I like the sound of mirrors and customization so copper ingots and planks well I'm pretty sure we still have a few of those not many but we do have a few so let's go ahead and put our um I think we have to go full on gothic mirror right there's there's really no other choice this is where the throne was going to go was right here like along this wall but oh well ah okay so this just takes you back to where you start originally and you can just presumably change some of these things oh yeah look at that that's an improvement right there we needed a beard so we'll go ahead and rock the beard that's fine is there anything else we can add we can still add some lighting uh, let's do some... Oh, we need... We need various of gems for those. Well, and it just so happens that we have a bunch of amethyst, so... I don't mind adding a couple of these guys in here. Um, are these exterior lights? What's the deal? Pillar mounted. Okay, so they gotta be on those guys. Got it. Um, sure, put one right there. One right there, one right there. And we've run out because we don't have any more planks. Okay. Well, we have some nice mood lighting in here, sort of. 
And then I think at this point we've we've literally gone through everything that we can do. Because we have all of these other things. We don't have an alchemy table. We don't have an alchemy table? Why don't we have an alchemy table? Holy crap, dude. We have a, a thing to do. We've got to make an alchemy table. I know what I'm doing now on the next one. With that, you'll need to join me on it. Catch you that one, Till, and thanks for watching. See you later.